to challenge it. It's falling back now. More so watching the half wall in case T's trying to boost up looking for Rinza, which is actually not a bad idea. The thing is, though, obviously the pressure is not going to be here. It's going to be at mid choke. So we've got to steer around quickly, pushing through. Zasty got blinded Ooh. by himself, though, it seems. Pasha, as a result, will take down two. Rambo's there for a trade, but Bialy's already waiting at the graveyard to cut him back off. Now it's Bu patiently waiting for a repeat re -peak from Bialy. We won't get it, so Molly's him into the open instead. Be able to take him down and try to keep Asterion in the fight here. Asterion are actually looking to actively contest some of the CTs as well. It almost looks like they were going to go through Archers of Duel. Snacks for a second there, but Snacks held back, moved himself away. And now Asterion think they have the all clear to wrap back around through mid and try out a new plan. Does look like they will be going towards that halls area right now as they are clearing that out. And it will be Neo in the pit to hold this area down here. Oh, a little bit of a missed shot. Out come the terrorists. They move around though. They know Neo's sitting in the corner, but Neo holds strong. Brings it down to just one on a Asterion, and he's spotted the last man's position now. Smoke will at least give him a bit of time to attempt to win the duel versus Neo, but no luck. She has a Molotov. This is going to be crucial to this retake here, and here it comes. It's going to go right over to Newbox. That's going to send Fear off into the open. First kill already claimed. No trades being seen as the second kill's picked up now, too. They don't expect the second guy to be back by anyone. That's the obvious surprise. Sadly, he's not going to be ready to hold off for the 1v2. Question, does he realize how forward they got? Butte has got to be careful about peeking. He might have just made noise, though. Regardless, Snacks will get peeked right into it. Butte does not re-peek to look for the trade. Another shot out, and again, Bu stays completely immobile here, waits for his opportunity, and he does indeed get it. Fine snacks, he can be on the half wall. Will, of course, open up room for the T's to trade a bit of control here. As they continue to push forward, CT Molly resistance immediately comes out. It's all on Rambo to pick up the opening kill. Fails to do it. Thankfully, OW does him one better. Picks up the Crips player, knocking the op out of their hand. Michu, still sitting back at first oranges, but Firoth coming in just as strong. And now Michu, finding one, misses the jump up from Firoth, so he brings it into a 1v1. It's going to cause Bialy to play very, very cautiously here. Knows the bomb isn't down just yet. Now he can move out, pop his head right off, and more importantly, prevent the plant. Trying too far away from what we've been seeing so far from them on their T side. Pasha holding close inside of the smoke, and even worse, Snacks already moving down Banana to catch one. Oh, Pasha with the bait Neo a little bit there, but he can still do so much impact. There's the first pick up. His teammate in pit doing the rest of the work, and he comes in for one more closing kill. VP takes solid control of the anti-eco once again. His push, and there we go. They're going to oh. get it. Snacks coming out with a nice trade, though. Immediately takes Firoth right back down. Was one of the players contributing to that boost. And continues to hold the angle. Now he's got Bu dead. Could find Zacy as well. Close on the timing shot. Just a little bit late. Doesn't look like the T's want to mess with him any further. But as they head towards A, there's another up waiting for him. It's in Pasha's hands. He takes down OW. Leaving just Zasty and Rambo alive in a 4v2. safety has got a bit of control, but he makes it all too obvious for Pasha, who gets another pot flash assist as he rounds the corner, finding him spraying into nothing. Easy kill against Zasty. For random Rambo, it's an impossible task now of trying to shut down this 1v4. Three of them already waiting in the site. Not a whole lot getting caught. Flashbangs against Bu, but counter flashes as well. Both of these guys are going to be blind as they try to push forward. Snacks and Michu work together, though. Pick up two kills at the start. Firoth coming back with a second. They don't expect this player in a cubby, though. Neo's going to have such a massive surprise for Firoth here. See it from Neo. He sees him. He's waiting to see if anyone else comes up the mid choke. Oh, no. Oh. He's lost the prop. That's the issue, though, is now he's lost him. Thankfully, he doesn't move too much further. Let's see a knife. Easy. Nicely done. And he gets an op pickup for it, too. So VP freely get upgraded to a double op setup. The last two are making a push, and the Ollie's solo holding. They didn't expect him to be oh. out of the sight, though, so he just takes them both down. Agenda here, and they already have caught one. There you go, hook, line, and sinker. They take a guy out at mid. Zasty finding a good trade shot, and they're even going to try to continue chasing down Neo. The issue is Pasha still has the hold on rap side. He's going to be ready to take the fight, too. Now he's got the CZ in hand. There's the first pickup. Knows it was oh, another oh, oh. player that was also around the corner. Now he might even find first kill. He does. He hears the second player. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Ace this would be an ace too. And he's got oh, the- Oh no, he misses the blind shot! Had Bialy dead to rights, now it's not so much anymore. Flashes him again, oh. but this time Bialy comes out on top. He'll deny the ace, deny the clutch. He's in a good spot to pick this one up. Snacks there. as well. Gonna have potentially a bit of a duel against Bu here, but they're still smoked off for each other. And of course, all the action is still happening over here towards the mid choke point. OW trying to get himself out through Boiler. Oh, and he catches Pasha off guard. Oh. Pasha, no clue that was going to happen. The good news is, though, is B is held off. Snack successfully gets his kill down Banana, and there's trades for the A site.
So Asterion sadly do not get the control that they wish for. They're now stuck with just mid choke point and boiler, basically. And if we try and again work a 2v4 here. Zasty moving in. Misses the Q from Michu coming out of Arches. Now it's just random Rambo. Still rocking it with the SG, by the way, but doing some work with it as we can see. He's picked up Michu. Now he's only got three more to find. And he's also down to 11 HP, of course, with VP for the most part having rotated in. There's going to be a reactionary rotate from Snacks, but yet from VP. So they're still working on clearing out the wrap side. Oh. The library players, that Zasty too, that'll end up taking the first bit of contact. VP trying to wrap library, pinch on it a bit. It doesn't work out so successfully. Fearoth, he's able to hold his own position for now until Michu comes in and decks him down to the ground. Quick pickup found from them, and now they're going to attempt to pinch B. Confirmed indeed, as Bew catches one trade, but that is it. One more pickup. The site is secure for VP, leaving only random Rambo alive in the 1v3, and he's not going to stay that way for very long. Snacks knocks him out. He's pushed off. Random Rambo patiently waiting for this hit to come in. He's in the most delicate spot out of all of his teammates, but he strikes first. Picks up the good kill. Now backing up to the headshot position. Oh, and he just ran out of ammo before he could complete his second kill, too. Brought Mihu down to 6 HP. Doesn't seem like he's going to be brought any lower than that, however, as they deal with the remaining Asterion players. And for Bew and Fearoth, they are way too far away to contribute to this retake in any way, shape, or form. We get that drop, but in the longer it proves important, as now they don't have to deal with an AK. It's just going to be a clean sweep through this round. Oh, Neo just gets dealt on that engine. Oh no, the two-man stack hit. Second Oranges is going to leave Random Rambo with, well, not enough space to stay alive here. The second guy at Oranges, however, he does successfully pick up at least one kill. But it'll be a fast trade. It's still gonna be a four-man A stack. Options. VP are running into a trap. And you've got to be careful not to it's get caught up in it. And it's gonna work very well here. Well, OW missed the porch approach from Snacks there too. That smoke didn't cover the whole thing. Let's let him in. It actually turns out not to be a fake towards A. It's just a little bit of faking into the B site actually. As Pasha has been throwing all sorts of nades into that site. Rambo still going to serve to cause some issues, and Bew successfully takes down Pasha. Rambo, oh, got so close to another kill, and he really could have caused some issues if he picked that one up. But Bialy will successfully be able to take him down, and now has a great position in the event Asterion just head up through mid. Because I don't think they're going to expect him to be in the window. Yep, there we go. Drops Bew very quickly. Snacks, too. So this along with the damage done to Pasha. You're going to early round Primer. So let me see some actual kills, and that's where OW is going to come in. So he picks up one on his own. Sadly, it means very little. Trades have already been found against them and to bring the number advantage back under the control of VP. But VP have yet to really commit anywhere. This is all aggression coming out from Asterion, and it's going to net them another kill. Bu out through mid, find Snacks. We are going to... Ooh, this could change things here. This is going to come down to timing a little bit, depending on how Bialy decides to play this. As Bu had moved into the library, which leaves the actual A site open... However, the problem is that Bialy's not exploring so much there towards A. So more than likely, these guys are going to end up committing towards B, oh. which could end badly, but no, Neo holds on. It was dropped down to a 1v2, keeps himself in check. And now that there's going to be a full commitment on the rotate from Bu, it's, well, not really needed for Bialy to, or Neo, excuse me, to completely rotate over towards A, but he's going to do it anyway, because it's the safe option, and it wasn't even really necessary, like I said, as Bialy ends up hunting down B. Bit of a flash war on the opener here, down towards Banana. But look at the contest that's going to end up leading us to. Both of the teams are throwing themselves at each other on Banana. Neo's going to add himself to this equation too. So far, it's only led to two kills, one on either side. The CT's got to be very careful with the way they play this, though. If they overcommit too much, could end badly. Firoth gets a good dink, oh. but like I said, there's that overcommitment. Swings around, trying to chase the kill. He's remaining in the correct site. However, it's Rambo's time to frag, as he's going to get pushed out. They jump in a pit, and they immediately take him down. This is not good for Asterion, as OW is also going to make a push directly into a member of VP, leading to another quick kill. Zasty does make it past Mihu without being spotted. This is going to give him free passageway up to the site. Oh, and I don't even think they're expecting him to be here either. This will catch him off guard, but now the plan's been revealed. He knows he can't hide any longer. He's going to have to take the fight. Tries to retreat a bit to take a new position. Sitting at 21 and 11. Same with Pasha here, and Bialy actually... 22, exactly. They're actually going to drop a nade right on that area here. Double nade out the close mid as well. Get a little bit aggressive on that as they move towards B fairly quickly. W, he's ready to move out and take a bit of a fight over here towards mid choke. Just got smoked though, so he's going to have to cancel those plans. But they might be coming to him anyway. Nice tag from Zasty. 
be able to bring to oh they catch OW on the back lane, however, and Mihu gets the successful kill on Zafi. So that is a lot of pressure coming towards both sites. So from the looks of things, looks like VP on the Santaiku here just successfully took control of both bomb sites. <laughs> so they're gonna be able to move in, claim dominance over both. Rambo, of course, getting the AK pickup, tries to bring this back a little bit, or at least get to a position where he could have saved his still buyouts. Deagles and CZs once again is all they have to play with. And same as the last round, VP are going to split their aggression cross map. Rambo catching one off now, two off guard, and he tries to go for a third up on the top of the boiler steps. The Ollie finally putting him back down. And this will open up the A site for the plant. But the issue is, is the CTs are going to be able to take back control over the mid choke point here. And this is going to let them swing out, potentially see the bomb too. But no, Neo takes them both down and secures the map for VP as they...